Hello and welcome. You are watching India Today So South, and I'm Afreen Hussain. The Karnataka government is all set to host a conclave in Bengaluru regarding the alleged unfair devolution of taxes by the union government. Chief Minister Sidramaya on September 11th said that he had written to the chief ministers of Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Maharashtra, Gujarat, Haryana, and Punjab, inviting them to the conclave. Sidramaya has also sent letters to his counterparts in eight states, including those ruled by the NDA. Maharashtra and Andhra Pradesh are ruled by BJP-led NDA, while Gujarat and Haryana are BJP-ruled states. In his post on X, Chief Minister Sidramaya said, I have invited them to a conclave in Bengaluru to collectively deliberate on the issues of fiscal federalism at a juncture when the Finance Commission needs to make a directional shift and create incentives for growth and better tax mobilization. The Chief Minister claimed that states with higher GSDP per capita, like Karnataka and others, are being penalized for their economic performance receiving disproportionately lower tax allocations and that this unjust approach undermines the spirit of cooperative federalism and threatens the financial autonomy of progressive states. Now, not only the Karnataka government, but also many non-BJP ruled states have been leveling charges over anomalies in the devolution of central funds. The Kerala government is also hosting a fiscal conclave in Tiruvananthapuram on September 12th to discuss the approach towards the 16th Finance Commission. In a statement released ahead of the finance minister's conclave, K. N. Balogopal, the finance minister of Kerala, said that the decline in central share has pushed the state into a financial crisis and that the 16th Finance Commission should formulate its policies in view of the situation. Meanwhile, the centre has washed its hands, pointing its fingers on the 15th Finance Commission. The conclave is being held at a time when the 16th Finance Commission has already started consultations with various states. So why are some of the states alleging unfair tax distribution and some are happy? To understand this, I am joined by my colleague, Mahesh Chitnis. Uh, so sir, tell me, after Kerala, now Karnataka Chief Minister plans to hold a conclave with representatives from eight states. So what's the agenda? Uh, Afrin, uh, see, interestingly, uh, the uh, Kerala government is already holding a, one of the uh, conclaves mm -hmm. in uh, Trivandrum today, which is underway. See, uh, several uh, southern states, including some of the northern states, unhappy with the, you know, the recommendations made by the 15th uh, Finance Commission, uh, which gave mostly prominence on the population, uh, uh, rather, you know, other than the, when compared to 14th Finance Commission, uh, which took into consideration various other aspects. Now, the 16th Finance Commission has already been formed, and the 16th Finance Commission, led by Chairman Arvin Panagriya, has already started consultation. Recently, a uh, meeting was held in Bangalore also, where Chief Minister Sidramaya hosted a committee of the 16th Finance Commission and made a detailed presentation regarding, uh, you know, the demands of the Karnataka government. The Telangana government has also, uh, you know, detailed its uh, demands uh, required, uh, you know, and the improvements that has be that has to be made uh, compared to the 15th Finance Commission. So now, what these states, you know, especially the southern states, is claiming that uh, the tax devolution, that is a tax share. Uh, uh that has been given given by the center is much much less than what it contributes to the center in tax like for example uh karnataka for every 100 rupees it pays in taxes it gets only 13 rupees back kerala gets only 21 rupees back as tax devolution out of 100 rupees it pays meanwhile tamil nadu has a little bit better side that is of 29 rupees for every 100 rupees mm -hmm. telangana 43 andhra pradesh 49 and some of the states which are which you know which uh, have got the invitation from cm sidramaya are also uh, uh, punjab maharashtra and a few more yeah meanwhile punjab even though it gets 69 but it claims it needs more and the uh, major contributor for the taxes that is maharashtra which which pay, you know uh, which is the highest in the country which care contributes maximum number of taxes only gets seven rupees out of rupees 100 paid as taxes Karnataka, meanwhile, is the second highest contributor of taxes in the country, but it gets only 13 rupees. Meanwhile, when you compare these states with the, some of the you know, state, northern states, which get maximum you know, uh, tax devolution, or Bihar, which gets around 922 for every 100 rupees it pays a tax. Uttar Pradesh gets 333, Madhya Pradesh gets 279, and Rajasthan 154. So this is the you know uh, reason why these states are claiming that there is a in there is a differences between tax devolution that is being paid to some of the states and some of the uh, other states, especially in the northern states. The, the uh, contention of the southern states, especially, is that the center needs to find a balance, you know, uh, 
uh, uh, so that there has to be some kind of balance uh, where all the states gets equal amount of taxes that is the main point of contention which the karnataka and telangana and some of the other states have made a uh, presentation in front of the 16th finance commission when it came for consultation uh, friend right sir so uh, now that we know uh, that the 16th finance commission they have already started consultation so when is it expected to submit its report uh, friend uh, the 16th finance commission was formed in uh, you know last year in december when the full fledged committee was formed uh, uh, under the chairmanship of dr uh, arvind panagriya so now the it will take the commission usually takes around 2 years uh, to complete the consultation of all the states it has to consider various aspects like uh, the you know uh, the population on what basis the recommendation will be made in the center itself has given some ter terms of references on which the recommendation have to be made so after consultation and discussion with all the stakeholders including the state and the, all the states on the center it will make it is expected to make uh, some the recommendations in october 2025 uh and the 16th pan finance commission is expected to come into force in uh, uh, uh april 1st 2026 so by then all the southern states the who are you know de demanding more tax devolution are seeking you uh, know are, are expecting some kind of relief especially uh, at least in the 16th finance commission if you compare 14th finance commission 15th com finance commission some of the major southern states have got you know a raw deal where the tax devolution they received was uh, very much as the you know the elements the the factors that were uh, on on that basis the recommendations were were much different difference uh, from the 14th and 15th finance commission so it will have to see on what uh, the basis the 16th finance commission will make the recommendation whether it is only based on the population and the geography of the state or some other you know elements might be considered so based on this the finance commission will make a recommendation to the center and in the whole uh, this issue you, even we saw the, saw that uh, earlier this year in february karnataka uh, chief minister sidramayya and the whole cabinet sat in protest against the center demanding you know indifferences among the states even it comes to tax distribution uh, tax distribution uh, you, you remember that uh, the former bangalore rural mp dk suresh went on to say that Uh, this might uh, lead to a you know you know demand of separate southern state which led to a, a lot of uh, chaos in the country even prime minister in the speech during the lok sabha election speech mentioned it several times across the country so this these are the issues you know some of the major issues that have been brought, brought to the fore in the 16th finance commission but meanwhile on the center in its defense said that center the union government does not play any kind of role and it is just following the orders of the finance commission so just based on the recommendation of the finance commission it distributes the tax among the various states so it will be very crucial on what basis the 16th finance commission makes it uh, you know uh, the recommendations on based on which the states will get the tax devolution right thank you sir for joining us with those details Uh, that's it for now. For more such updates, keep watching our channel. This is Afrin Hussain with Mahesh Shetnis for India Today's Source Up.